Hey guys, welcome to ITS Tactical. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Quick Stick, which is a new product we're carrying. Uh, they come in sets of two, and basically it's a shim to bypass a padlock. So um, by simply inserting it into the padlock, which I'll zoom in here in a second, you can take a look, um, you can just basically bypass the locking dog on a padlock to open it up. So let's get into detail and I'll show you exactly what these do. Okay guys, again, this is the quick stick. I'm going to try to angle it so you can get a little glare so you can see what it's all about. So you can see it's almost like a tonneau cut on the tip there. And again, what it does is it, it's made to, to bypass the keyway on a padlock. So these can be used for, well, not only padlocks, but also file cabinet locks. Um, they can be used for uh, tool cabinets, things like that. But one thing to remember with these is that um, I have not had good luck yet on um, padlocks that lock via the heel and the toe with locking dogs. And what I mean by that is that you can see on this uh, heavier duty master lock as compared to the cheaper China lock that says security on it. <laughs> um, I'm going to kind of use this to point, but there's a little, there's a gap here in the heel of the padlock or the padlock shackle as well as the toe right here. And what that does is that this, uh, this locking bar or the locking dog actually catches on both places. So it's kind of locked, it's kind of a dual locked shackle. So that's important to kind of understand locks if you're ever trying to shim a lock or anything like that. Um, with, we've had a video on here before about how to shim padlocks too. So what's important to note is that it has two of those. With the, the cheaper lock here, um, it's just got a locking dog or a lock on the, the toe of the lock. So let me demonstrate this again. So by taking this into the keyway, what you're doing with this quick stick is you're bypassing the keyway. So there's no real picking that's going on. It's just a bypass versus a, a picking with standard lock picks. So you're going to insert this into the keyway and I'm just going to use this to press up on the pins inside of the keyway and I'll try to hold it like this so you can see it. So as I press up, and I'm just gonna press in and down, and it pops it open, just like that. So again, um, it's kind of interesting too, because you can, especially with this lock, you can just lock it and press up and just open it over and over again. So even with this still inserted, you can see I'm just snapping that back in and using that, that leverage there. So what that's doing is I'll show you what it's doing inside of the lock. I don't know if you can really see the keyway or not. I'll try to hold it right there. But what it's doing, hopefully you can see that motion, but what it's doing is it's moving that locking dog away. So again, by inserting it with the, the Tonto down, I guess, so the bevel down, you're going to insert that into the lock, raising pins and just snapping it right open. Um, so we are carrying these on ITS now and I thought I'd just do a demo since we're going to be carrying them just to show you kind of what the what some of the capabilities are. Um, they are going to be available in sets of two so check them out online on itstactical.com forward slash store if you're interested. Um, also again remember they can they have been known to open heel and toe padlocks but I have not personally had success with the heel and toe locking designs, um, more so with just the, the toe, but they will open heel as well. So some padlocks um, don't choose to lock via the toe, they just have the single cutout on the, the heel of the shackle. So hope you enjoyed the video and this little demo of quick sticks, and they do come in sets of two, and you can pick them up on itstaffer.com forward slash store. Thanks for watching.